Hi, I'm Ellen Sweeney and welcome to this week's edition of Tips for iOS. This week we'll be talking about iMessage, which is Apple's instant messaging service. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is make sure that iMessage is turned on. So go to Settings, scroll down to Messages, and make sure that the toggle switch for iMessage is flipped on. When iMessage is on, your messages will be blue, and when you're not using iMessage, the messages will be green. So if someone is sending you messages who's not on an Apple phone, that's why you'll see a green bubble instead of blue. Just below the iMessage toggle switch, you'll see one for Send Red Receipts. If this toggle switch is turned on, it means that anyone you're texting with over iOS will see when you opened a text and read it. Fine if you're making plans to connect with someone, but not so great if you know that person will expect you to reply immediately. I turn this feature off altogether. I've now opened a new message, and I'd like you to take a look at the camera icon and the microphone icon on either side of the text message area. I'm sure you're aware that if you touch on the camera icon, it will immediately give you access to your photo library where you can send a photo or a video as a text message. But what you may not know is that if you push and hold on the camera, it gives you immediate access to your camera app where you can send a video or a photo immediately from your text message. The really cool feature here though is when you send those videos and audio messages, they will self-delete after they are opened. Did you know that you could see photos and videos that have been shared in a message thread? Tapping on the details menu at the top right of a message thread and scrolling down you'll be able to see a thumbnail list of all the photos and videos shared between you and the person you've been texting with. Staying here in the details section, you can share your location by tapping on the send my current location or share my location. If you select share my location, you can select the amount of time that you would like to share it. You can also mute a group message or leave it entirely. Notifications from a group message can be annoying. An easy way to fix this is to turn on the Do Not Disturb toggle. It only mutes the notifications. You'll still receive the messages and you can catch up later. You can also turn this switch off again if you want to receive notifications. If you want to completely shut down this message, you can tap on leave this conversation and you'll no longer receive messages from this group. If you're running low on storage, an easy way to free some up is by choosing to have your messages auto delete. From the message setting, go to keep messages. And here you can choose to either keep messages forever, one year or 30 days. The only thing I'll caution you on is that if you have photos or videos in those messages, they'll be gone forever. Get in the habit of downloading the pictures you want to keep from your messages. That's it for this week's edition of Tips for iOS. I have a bonus tip back on the blog for those of you who may someday decide to leave your Apple device. Not sure why you would ever want to do that but there's a tip there that'll show you how to get rid of iMessage. See you next week on Tips for iOS.